Don't trust nobody. Okay, for all you people who are open with your support of Trump, hey, respect to you because you're not afraid to stand on your beliefs or stand by a man openly. If that's what you believe, you have the right to believe it. But what I don't respect is you cowards, you in the closet Trump supporters who act like everything he says is so bad in public. But in private, you was rooting for him and you voted for him. We are surrounded by sneaky Trump supporters and statistics show 89% of covert Trump supporters are covert racists. Okay. The type to slip the condom off and not even tell you. All right. Now, my daughter, eight years old, all she knows is President Barack Obama. So for me, I just think it shapes your mind a different way when all you've seen is a black man in the White House. And then we would have transitioned into a woman president. I just feel like that would have energized her in a certain way. I honestly felt when it came to the president of the United States of America, I honestly felt white men were too played out for that position. I just truly felt like the pale male was stale when it came to being president, but nope. And I just kept trying to figure out how to explain this to my daughter without discouraging her or planting negative seeds in her that could grow to some form of prejudice. And I still haven't quite figured out how to explain to her why and how Donald J. Trump became president. But then I came across my man Van Jones on CNN. Drop on the clues bombs for Van Jones. He explained how a lot of us are feeling right now. Play Van Jones from CNN last night. People have talked about a miracle. I'm hearing about a nightmare. It's hard to be a parent tonight for a lot of us. You tell your kids, don't be a bully. Don't be a bigot. Do your homework and be prepared. And then you have this outcome and you have people putting children to bed tonight. They're afraid of breakfast. They're afraid of how do I explain this to my children? I have Muslim friends who are texting me tonight mm -hmm. saying, should I leave the country? Families of immigrants that are terrified tonight. This was a rebellion against the elites. True, it was a complete reinvention of politics and polls, it's true. But it was also something else. We've talked about everything but race tonight. We've talked about income, we've talked about class, we've talked about region. We haven't talked about race. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president in part. And that's the part where the pain comes. And Donald Trump has a responsibility tonight to come out and reassure people that he is going to be the president of all the people who he insulted and offended and brushed aside. Yeah, when you say you, know, you want to take your country back, you got a lot of people who feel that we're not represented well either. But we don't want to feel that someone has been elected by throwing away some of us to appeal more deeply to others. Mm. What did this mean for our society? I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. Okay, I don't even know what else to say right now. I'm exhausted, drained, defeated for the moment, but I'm Wolverine to the BS. My healing factors are incredible. But in the meantime, America, we need to be ashamed of ourselves. Give America the biggest hee-haw, please. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that donkey today. I don't know. Now, 